medical school is a setup okay maybe i'm exaggerating just a teeny little bit but nobody really tells you what you're getting yourself into like the sleepless nights the formal the overwhelming feeling the overstimulation the pressure to always be on your zoom like none of that was in the admission letter and it's not my admission letter but don't worry i got you today i'm going to be sharing seven things i wish i knew before starting med school no sugar coating like today i'm going to be spilling the tea oh did you see what i did there sugar coating tea because you put sugar in tea anyways let's get into the video you're going to miss things Birthdays, zoo, outing, zoo, concerts, parties, sometimes family vacations. Like, I almost missed my last family vacations. You're going to miss out on things. So, you have to start getting used to it. The earlier, the better. And this is because medical school is very, very demanding, like, insanely demanding. So, you just can't make time for every single thing. But you know what? That's actually okay. You don't have to be everywhere all the time. So, that's okay. That's fine. You just have to set your priorities straight. You know, your girlies or the party. Um, solo dates or concerts which one is more important to you just make time out for the things that would actually benefit your mental health and you know forfeit the ones that are just vibes you get i'm not saying that you should isolate yourself just because med medical school is like a lot of work but just know that you can't be everywhere all the time and that's okay when i first started medical school in my 100 level i thought i would have to give up all my hobbies and everything i loved my youtube tiktok making videos creating content basically all my creative outlets i thought i would have to give them up just to survive in medical school but i was so wrong medicine is a long journey a marathon and not a sprint you're going to be studying medicine for six years and more okay everybody says oh medicine is six years but it just doesn't stop at six years after you graduate you still keep reading and studying for exams so if you burn yourself out in the first First year it's game over like don't throw away your hobbies don't throw away your likes your creative outlets just incorporate them into your schedule into your routine even if it's for 30 minutes a week maybe you love to play basketball or you're a baker you love to bake or you're you're like those people that like reading novels they call them bookhead i don't even know but like you love reading books you love reading novels even if it's 30 minutes or one hour a week or 30 minutes every day incorporate them into your schedule so that you can be sane me for me making videos like this making content literally keeps me sane and keeps me happy so you need to be happy when i don't want to be sad for the rest of your life no okay you need balance in your life too as much as I love my med school girlies, sometimes I just need a break from all that medical shenanigans, from that medical bubble going on in my school. I just need a break. And that's where my non-medical friends come in. You know, they remind me that there's life outside pass and farm there's life outside anatomy and physiology there's life outside biochemistry there's life outside pharmacology it's not all about medical school okay so just get yourself some non-medical friends you can get them from your hobbies like maybe the basketball course that you like to play for basketball you made some basketball friends there or social events or school clubs or even church like church is a good way to make friends so yeah i recommend i highly recommend if you thought you were the smartest in the room before medical school will humble you like mad it will humble you so bad you know what these children that african parents used to use as an example they'll be like does she have two heads why can't you be like her say how she's packing all their awards this is clinical clinical those are the kind of people that are in medical school it's packed with head boys head girls valedictorians honor roll students those are the kind of people you see there and when you come and you look around and you see people that are way way smarter and intelligent or that seem to be way smarter or intelligent than you you start having imposter syndrome you start asking yourself am i even meant to be here why is everyone understanding fast and i'm slow why is everyone getting like you start having these thoughts and i know it's common but i just want you to tell yourself that it's a lie when these thoughts start coming in because you deserve to be there just as much as everyone else you wrote the exam you passed jam and you gained admission just like everyone else so i just want to tell you that you should not be having that feeling at all okay the thing is a lot of people think that medical school is just about being intelligent being a genius being bankers in 2.0 but i'm here to tell you that that is absolutely not the case okay all you need is discipline and consistency i genuinely believe that even if you were a mid average student in secondary school if you come into university and you have discipline and consistency 
girl you're going to be acing those classes i can promise you discipline and consistency is and god is all you need i'm not even joking i'm not happy can you consistently attend classes can you stick to a study routine can you stick to a study schedule can you show up when you're meant to show up can you submit your assignments on time if your answer to all of these questions is yes then you're going to be just fine like yes i know the medical school syllabus can be so long as long as third milan bridge but i promise you if you have a study schedule that actually works and is actually effective you're going to be okay but if you don't have a study schedule that actually works and is actually effective don't worry don't panic okay because i have a video dedicated for you called start to build a study schedule that actually works do yourself a favor and watch that video after this one now this is where most people mess up you see your classmates pulling all nighters you see your classmates reading all night no sleep till they break reading and you think you need to do the same hmm. it now doesn't work and you're questioning if you even want to be a doctor again you start thinking to yourself ah, am i sure i want to even be a doctor maybe i should change the law ah, this engineering is not looking too bad relax okay i need to calm down first thing you need to do is stop comparing yourself the next thing you need to do is figure out what learning style works best for you are you a visual learner someone that thrives on youtube videos or flow charts or diagrams or are you an audio learner someone that thrives on listening to the lecturer's voice or podcast or just listening to their friend explaining to them some people need flashcards others need videos some people thrive in study group sessions others need silence personally i'm a visual learner and i'm so happy because i figured this out very early on in my academic journey and it has really helped my medical school life honestly i'm so happy i figured out early but i still try to incorporate other forms of learning like study groups active recall and the rest so find out what works for you and stick to it because your journey is yours and not theirs in my opinion, the most important skill every medical student should have is time management. Because medical school feels like a literal full-time job. Except you're not even getting paid. In fact, you're the one paying. But it feels like a full-time job. So if you don't have good time management skills, you will literally drown. I'm not even joking. One of the most common problems I've seen my classmates struggle with is balancing medical school and their sanity. Like it's like a pandemic, especially during exam season. You see us carrying energy drink in one hand, book in one another hand, bloodshot eyes, back pain, neck pain, falling sick. What will we not expect? I'm literally describing myself right now. Let's not get off track. My point is your time management game has to be a 10 out of 10 or at least a nine like you have to carve out time for your self-care and your hobbies if not you might just go insane i'm telling you the hardcore truth here you know rest when it's time to rest study when it's time to study play when it's time to play and making time for all these things is a literal skill you have to master the skill start now if you can okay so don't be reading when you're supposed to be resting and don't be resting when you're supposed to be reading too you know everything is a balance you just have to make sure everything is well balanced and well timed and also treat your time like gold because once it's gone you can literally not get it back you probably heard the saying no man is an island right if you think you can do this medicine thing alone think again like think again because i'm here to tell you that you can't like everyone needs a little help here and there and a study group is the perfect place to find it especially when the study group is filled with people that actually know what's up they know what to do they know why they're in school they are focused they are ready to get to work don't go and enter study group that feels like just session you guys said that you read by 7 p.m or you are there spilling the tea just there's like i said there's time for everything when it's time to rest rest when it's time to study study when it's time to just just you know just proportion balance okay <sighs> medical school is hard i'm not even going to lie to you but survival is not impossible that i can tell you i am a survivor i mean i haven't graduated yet but i'm in my fourth year so i'm like more than halfway done and i can tell you that you can survive okay these doctors that you're seeing walking around now they went to the same medical school honestly i even think they had it harder because us we have ai them what do they have library public library like imagine studying medicine in an era that there was no chat gpt or even google like that must have been tough 
But now we have ChatGPT, we have Notion, we have Notebook LM, so many AI tools and apps that help medicine easier. Let me know if you want me to do a separate video on tools that make medicine easier and I'll, I'll definitely deliver. But yeah guys, that's the end of the video. If you liked this or if this helped you in any way, make sure you like and hit that subscriber button guys so YouTube knows that you want more videos like this. You can signal to YouTube that yes, yeah, I like this kind of videos. Bring me up. Give me 15 of those. Okay? If you know anyone that's about to enter medical school or is already in medical school but seems to be struggling, help them. Send them this video. You know, don't get keep Sharing is caring. Okay guys? And if you want to see how my day-to-day -day life as a medical student is like, I have a whole playlist called Med School Diaries. So just click on that to give it a watch and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!